Imposter syndrome is persistent feeling that causes someone to doubt their accomplishments despite evidence and fear they may be exposed as a fraud. Ask Reddit, do any of you feel this way about work or school? How do you overcome it, if at all? Academic here, a lot of us suffer from this syndrome. Positions are so difficult to obtain that a lot of us almost feel guilty when we get one. All academics know colleagues that were as bright, if not brighter than themselves, that couldn't be hired or left the academic world. Therefore, there is this permanent feeling that we might not fully deserve this position and that at some point someone will discover that we are not as bright, as deserving as they think. So you keep pushing, you keep working harder, over time, on weekend, during holidays, just to convince yourself that you belong here. And it's hard, because when you work in academia, you encounter frequently people who are factually geniuses, who are out there in terms of cognitive possibilities, their brain just don't work like yours. Really, there is no way that even through hard work you can achieve their level of understanding of a discipline, of methods, etc. In addition, academia is very competitive. Frustration, bullying, dick-sized contests, public humiliation are part of the scientific debate unfortunately and it really doesn't help regarding the imposter syndrome. Meanwhile I try to promote kindness, but it's very very difficult. I'm a faculty, for 20 years now, one of the youngest ever hired in my field and there is not a single day where I don't have this fear that one day I will be unveiled as an imposter. It's tiring, depressing, hard. But there is one thing that keeps me afloat, teaching. I may not be a great scientist, but I'm a decent professor, being in the arena, among students, explaining, describing, questioning these young and often brilliant minds, is the only thing that I find fully satisfying. It gives meaning to my life really. And that's how I cope with the syndrome, because I know that in my classroom, at least, I'm useful to somebody. I feel it almost every day, especially when a decision comes down to me. It's like really? You're going to let me decide something that will affect employees for years to come? Are you sure this is a good idea? I just push forward anyways and am not afraid to ask for advice and opinions. Lots of communication helps for me at least. I'm retired now. I went to lunch with an old boss slash friend my last day and confessed to him that I was relieved to be getting out before they all realized I'd been making everything up all along. I felt this way the entire time I've been at my current job. In my last job I migrated from tech support to development and my current job I was simply hired on as dev. I'm one of those self-taught types so I don't have any degree to back me up. I mean, I read up on good practice, I look at code samples and study design patterns and even worked on getting my math up to snuff. I mean, they seem to think I'm okay, I've been employed here 3 years now. Still, I'm absolutely convinced I'll make some simple, but stunningly amateur mistake, and get kicked to the curb. My brain, at baseline, is a swelling vortex of fear and negativity. I experience imposter syndrome often. All the time. All through grad school, and in my career. I basically need my boss to explicitly say you're doing a good job and I need to hear my colleagues say we appreciate the work you're doing for the team and I need to see really concrete, explicit evidence that my clients are making progress or I just feel like a sham, a trash person, an imposter. I write little notes of affirmation to myself when I'm not getting enough feedback from my team. It'll put post-it notes around my desk that say you deserve to be here. 20 people interviewed for this position, and you got it, you passed all licensing exams because you're smart. And those notes will usually calm me down. I work in academia and imposter syndrome is more or less the norm. But this knowledge is in part what helps, because what I found makes a huge difference is simply talking about it with people. Everyone feels that way and carries those feelings around like a huge secret, but I found just talking about it with colleagues and other people and you realize everyone more or less feels the same at times. And since those are the same people you look up against and compare yourself with, and realize they feel the same way about you, well, things can't really be that bad. But someone has to start the conversation. 
I'm a lawyer, and every day I wonder if the judges and my fellow attorneys are taking pity on me for being such a blithering idiot. But then I realize I've been doing this for 5 years, and law is not a career where the other side cares about your feelings. Inspired by Tumblr, may it RIP. I deal with it by pretending I'm the star of Leverage, season 6. I'm an imposter, my cowalkers are imposters. We're all in on it. Every week I get my cut. As a writer imposter syndrome is very common, and I often feel it, but more in the why, am I even trying? I can't compete with people that are actually talented definition of it. I recently became a programmer most people experience imposter syndrome in any skills based field it's hard to overcome we haven't confidence is everything building confidence comes from consistent effort and becoming secure in oneself that's the only way to overcome imposter syndrome. I just got my license a month ago and every time I drive alone I feel like a little kid who shouldn't be allowed to drive. I'm terrified of being pulled over for anything, even though I'm illegally allowed to drive, and I don't do anything illegal while doing so, except speeding ig. It doesn't help that I'm not the best driver, so I feel like all of these adults on the road are watching and judging me. I develop software, so yes. I'm a physician. This happens in my line of work. The problem is, when you are young, the amount of work set out in front of you to become a doctor seems endless and insurmountable. As you work your way through undergrad, medical school, internship, residency, past step exams, board exams, fellowship, etc. You don't really have the time to reflect and take an accounting of what you know. People look down on residents, whereas it's actually the period of your life where you probably know the most academically. What you come to find out is that you aren't an imposter. You know quite a bit. You also realize that medicine isn't a linear discipline like many lay people think it is. Lab results and testing rarely give yes or no answers. A lot of medicine is problem solving, forming hypothesis, testing that hypothesis, and acknowledging that the most common answer is usually the most likely. When you learn to combine this art with the science of evidence-based medicine you start to excel as a physician. Doctors are also human. We make mistakes. We occasionally have unanticipated variation from anticipated outcomes. It doesn't make you a fraud or imposter. We live in a society now where answers are seemingly easy to obtain via the internet and there is a low tolerance for the time it takes to make a medical problem go away. These discrepancies between perception and reality lead to friction between patients and physicians which the primary reasons physicians can feel inadequate. There are also certainly shitty doctors. I have narcissistic parents and am a nursing student. So whenever I achieve something I'm met with doubt from them and thus I doubt myself. I overcome it by going into clinical or work and making note of everything I do. These things make me realize I help people. I change lives and that I don't need approval or praise by my parents to feel this way. So I just remember to be proud I help people. Be proud I save. Recently I began my doctoral program in applied mathematics. Every day I wake up with this debilitating fear that I do not belong here, that I'm an imposter. That I have been skirting by in all my classes and only did well on exams because I got lucky. Sometimes it makes me want to drop out or do something stupid. The only thing that works for me is to put my head down and work my ass off every day and hopefully, just hopefully, one day I'll convince myself I belong here. If you enjoyed the stories, slap the like and subscribe button for more of them, and don't forget to support the original writers with an upvote, links are in the description. Peace out, and catch you tomorrow.